Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to talk about the relationship of Virginia and the U.S. to the global economy. So one of the big things you have to know is that Virginia and the United States businesses have become multinational in their quest for resources, markets, and profits. So multinational, just like it sounds, it's in multiple countries. So Starbucks, which we've talked about, gets coffee from Ethiopia, gets coffee from El Salvador, and they sell it in the United States, they sell it in almost every country. Uh, resources, that could be things like gold, silver, markets, that's different people they can sell to, and profits, that's how they make money. Free trade, in recent decades, the US government has worked to reduce barriers to international trade. Free trade increases worldwide material, standards of living. So free trade, just like it sounds, there's no taxes on it, it's free to trade. The gains from free trade are not distributed equally, and some individuals or groups may lose more than they gain when trade barriers are reduced. So we kind of talked a little bit about this with NAFTA, sometimes they feel rich people will get richer, poor people will lose a lot of money. So despite mutual benefits from trade among people in different countries, many nations employ trade barriers to restrict free trade for national defense reasons, to protect key individuals, or because some companies and workers are hurt by free trade. So some of the trade agreements that we'll talk about, first one is North American Free Trade Agreement, also known as NAFTA. It's a free trade zone of Canada, Mexico, and the United States, intended to eliminate trade barriers, promote fair competition, and increase investment opportunities. Some of the possible negative results have been low wages and poor working conditions for foreign workers, loss of jobs in America. Uh, this is another one called Macladoras in Mexico, and the Macladora system allows international corporations to set up factories in Mexico to produce goods that are exported back to the original country. Corporations are able to avoid taxes and trade, and trade restrictions. So a company like Ford, if they made cars in the United States, they can move their factory down into the system and they won't have to pay taxes. Uh, another thing we're going to talk about is the World Trade Organization, also known as the WTO. It was established in 1995. Its role is administering trade agreements, handling disputes, and providing a venue for negotiating among its member nations. And almost every country in the world is part of the WTO. And just like it says, they try to come up with trade agreements between countries, uh, they handle disputes, so if they're not agreeing on a tax rate, They'll talk to each other about it. Some of the controversy with it is um, some people say it promotes worldwide deregulation, environmental de degradation, and widens the gap between the rich and the poor. So we kind of saw maybe some of the workers aren't making very good money, they're being exploited, and some of the corporations may get rich from it.